Roger says, are there any supplements that help clean out arterial plaque? So when it comes to arterial plaque, we know arterial plaque is produced from inflammation. So when we have inflammation in our blood vessels, it damages the inner lining of the blood vessels. That's called the endothelial lining. And then scar tissue, just like, you know, if you damage your skin, scar tissue is going to form or you damage a joint, scar tissue starts to form. That's called plaque. And so how do we clean that out? Well, first thing we got to do is get to the root cause of the inflammation. And so the root cause of the inflammation is typically going to either be blood sugar imbalances, like high insulin, high blood sugar. When you have high blood sugar, your the sugar molecules will bind to proteins and create something called advanced glycation end products. These AGEs, they cause more inflammation in the blood vessels, damage the blood vessels. And then high insulin can also damage the blood vessels as well. And that can cause plaque formation. So we got to get have a good blood sugar stabilizing diet. That's always key. We can also have infections in our blood. So a lot of times people have a poor oral microbiome. We talk a lot about the gut microbiome. When it comes to arterial plaque, there's a lot of association between not only the gut microbiome, but also the oral microbiome. When we have a lot of bacteria and bacterial waste products like lipopolysaccharides, in the bloodstream, these endotoxins, they will drive up inflammation in the bloodstream, cause arterial plaque. So we got to make sure that our mouth is clean. We're brushing, flossing. You know, if we've got, you know, different issues in there that we're getting those addressed, we've got hidden infections uh, from in our mouth, uh, gingivitis, all, all different types of things like that. We've got to get that addressed and cleaned up. Obviously, we want to take good care of our gut making sure that our gut is healthy. You know, one of the biggest things I talk about when it comes to gut health is intermittent fasting because that gives us time to heal and seal the gut. I already talked about things like probiotics, things like butyric acid to help support gut health. I think those things are, are fantastic. Taking digestive enzymes with meals can be really helpful. So I think those are key. So that's kind of like the, the basics and the foundation. Now, other nutrients that are key here. Well, we want to make sure most of the arterial plaque is, is calcium. That's a big part of kind of scar tissue formation to begin with. And so what helps support calcium metabolism? Things like magnesium, vitamin D3, and vitamin K2. So I will recommend typically when people have cardiovascular disease, we're optimizing vitamin D and we're taking vitamin K2 with it. Vitamin K2 works with vitamin D to help get calcium out of the bloodstream and into the bones. So we want that. And we also need magnesium on board as well. Magnesium helps with that process too. And magnesium also helps to relax the blood vessels, right? And so it helps to calm and relax the blood vessels, giving that, <clears throat> giving, allowing for more blood to flow through there and allowing for better uh, nutrient and oxygen diffusion through the blood vessels and into the cells. So that's key. Now, other things to clean out arterial plaque are proteolytic enzymes. The most well-studied for this is natokinase, um, which is really powerful for breaking down scar tissue in the body. And so again, arterial plaque is basically scar tissue. So natokinase and other proteolytic enzymes like bromelain, right? There's a whole number of different proteolytic, these breakdown proteins, uh, proteolytic enzymes that will help to metabolize scar tissue, including plaque. And so you take these away from meals because if you take them with a meal, they act like a digestive enzyme. They help break down the protein in your diet. Um, so you take them away from meals and they're really good for joints. You know, it's something I'm taking for my bicep injury, right? To help break down scar tissue and help repair healthy tissue. So proteolytic enzymes, um, you take them away from meals, uh, at least two hours, you know, away from a meal. I take them, you know, in the morning while I'm doing my fasting. Um, I'm that, I'm taking proteolytic enzymes, particularly right now, you know, for my joint, uh, my my torn left distal bicep tendon, right, to to help be, help improve the overall recovery process. But you can take them for helping clean out arterial plaque as well. So those are all good things. You know, obviously nothing is FDA approved to be able to do that. Obviously I'm not giving any, any sort of like medical advice. This is just for um, education, right? These are just for educational purposes. Nothing has been, you know, clinically studied in enough detail with enough um, double blind placebo control studies to show that, you know, it's, that it, you know, that it's proven to reduce arterial plaque. So I'm not making any claims there. This is just what I like to use, what is what I found to be helpful uh, for these, these conditions. Mm -hmm.